All right, g'day, hi, and welcome. All right, <coughs> so does scale length matter? Well, yes, it does. Can you use drop tunings? Uh, you know, should you go with drop tunings uh, rather than uh, a baritone guitar? So what you're looking at here is my Hokum SVN 7 7 string, my uh, EC 258 LTD 8 string on the ground there. You can see this big beast. Beast. Uh, then you got my Mark Holcomb um, 6 string at 25 and a half scale. Uh, and then you've got at the 24 and three quarter, you have my ever so beautiful 2006 uh, SG3, SG3, Gibson SG3. And the two baritone guitars, baritone range guitars, are basically 26 and a half scale. So the Holcomb guitar is 26 and a half scale, and the uh, eight string is 26 and a half scale. And then for really long scale, we got my Ibanez bass there, the uh, GO205. Uh, 20, uh, sorry, 34 inch scale base. So the, the short answer is no, your down tune 25 and a half or 24 and three quarter scale guitar will not sound as heavy as the, uh, naturally sounding, uh, baritone guitar. So 26 and a half, uh, and on is kind of like uh, baritone, right? So you'll get guitars you know probably there's some at 26 inch but it seems like 26 and a half is kind of like a standard to go from 25 and a half to 26 and a half you'll see some at 27 or 27 and a half 28 uh i don't know if there's too many guitars that go above 29 inch uh in scale length but now you're getting into bass territory a short scale bass is 30 28 to 30 inches um there most of them are either 30 inch 34 inch or 35 inch uh and then you got baritone bases that are like 36 inches which to give you an idea if that's 34 inch on the the ibanez there 36 inches takes you about um uh, up to at least to the the bottom uh you know the closest uh tuner that you want <laughs> yeah so that's a pretty long scaled neck but those are usually custom bases or whatever so anyway uh, no, uh, what I find, okay, this guitar is in drop C. I've had, uh, you know, I've had these guitars in different, uh, tunings as well. Uh, the 24 and three quarter. And with the shorter scale, you can only down tune so much. Like for example, my SG 61 reissue, which is behind me, uh, I've down tuned it to double drop A just to try it. And the strings were so flubby that it really uh really didn't you know like you really couldn't you could you could hear what the tuning was like but you didn't really get any discernment and clarity on the notes because they were just you know they were too flubby you couldn't get enough tension on there so for example the holcomb guitar it's in drop c which is basically a whole step down from standard tuning it's like taking your standard tuning put it in drop d and then drop everything down a whole step and that's basically drop C. Now double drop C is you would take the uh, the E string, drop it to C, and you take the other E string and you drop it to C. Now that said, why would you say, uh, you're probably asking, why would uh, you know drop tuning not be as heavy? You know, I try drop tunings and they're crazy heavy. And you're right, they are heavy, but they don't have that natural, you know, beefy low end that you get out of the baritone guitar for example this guitar in drop c which sounds really heavy it sounds great does not have anywhere near the punch of this thing at standard tuning so if i play you know forget about the b string on there and just play the e to e on the seven string it's still heavier it's still heavier no matter what uh so that said if you really want it heavy you can say well i could put this guitar in a drop tuning uh, because it's easier to play, that's, that is a, you know, the shorter scale length is easier to play. So, uh, this guitar is easier to play than that, than the seven string or the eight string. So it's, you know, with the 25 and a half scale is easier to play than the 26 and a half scales. And the 24 and three quarter is way easier to play than all of them. So the easiest guitar to play here is the Gibson SG. It's technically the best playing guitar here in, you know, in terms of, you know, ease of playing because of the, the scale length. 
Uh, that said, the smoothest necks here are these two uh, Holcomb guitars. These things are incredible. Uh, what, Missy? Yeah. You, you want to come and talk about some guitars with me? All right. Sorry. Interruption of cat. Yeah, you just come and do your thing. That's okay. I wasn't filming anything. Show your butt to the world. Who cares? Right? So anyway, so Missy's going to join us for the video. So anyway, so if Missy was playing my seven string guitar or the eight string guitar, get your tail out of the way. Audience can't see. Um, the thing is, is whatever you get away in a drop tuning, even in natural tuning, you can, you're still going to sound heavier with that. Right? So if you put this on a drop tuning and then say you drop this guitar down to like a drop C and then whatever the B drops down to, I guess that goes down to uh, B. Uh, so that would go A. Yeah, to drop down to A. So you'd be drop A, I guess, uh, which would be like a drop C with the B string down to the A. And that would give you the same kind of tuning as that, right? But you'd be even heavier because of that baritone scale. And it's just this low end. When I'm recording, I notice like it's just it's it's kind of like a natural bass bottom end to it, but without the uh, the muddiness. So that's one of the biggest things I notice with the baritones is that you just kind of it, it won't replace the six string guitar, uh, nor you know the the Fender twenty five and a half scale. Get out of the way so people can see the guitars. Uh, or the 24 and a half, uh, three quarter scale Gibsons, it'll never replace those sounds because those sounds give you like a higher mid, they give you more cut through, they give you uh, like these guitars are better for soloing because of the shorter scale lengths. But if you want thicker sounding notes, these guitars, especially the one you can barely see right now, you can't see my LTD 8 string because there's a cat in the way. Uh, but that um, animal's always ruining my videos. Uh, but anyway, um, that that guitar is really heavy. Now, if you were compared like the 8th string to the 7th string at the same scale length in the mix, you probably wouldn't be able to pick one out from the other other than the fact that you've got an extra string there, which gives you even more low end, right? But other than that, the scale wise, uh, if you're tuned at the same thing, one won't be heavier than the other because of the scale length. So scale length matters, um, even to cats. Uh, and the t drop tunings are, there is a lot of reasons to go to drop tunings. So why would you go to drop tuning instead of buying an extended range guitar? Well, number one could be money. Number two, how am I doing for time here? Okay, yeah, I'll just wrap this up really quick. The other, one of the other main reasons might be that you actually don't want that heavy of a sound. Maybe you want a little bit more bit more of a sparkling mid right or maybe you're you got a bass player that plays six string bass and you just don't really need the baritone sound because he's already got a baritone bass on top of that so now you want the cut through to be a little bit higher in the mids uh that could do it for you uh that said when you are tuned the same like for example that guitar and that guitar are both standard tuning and so is the eight string standard tuning that one's just in drop c and that one's going to stay in drop c because that's my drop tuning guitar uh, the drop tuning guitar for me is more about different sounds of tuning. Like, for example, if I do the drop C for now, I'm probably going to do double drop C just to get some really sparkling, clean sounds and a bit of a, maybe not a baritone tone, but just a little more low end. Or if I go like my Gibsons, I'll put them in a uh, drop G or open G, uh, a G flat or whatever, like, a, well, uh, yeah, kind of type, type of thing. Uh what I do is basically I will capo and I'll use like a slide or whatever in like uh, say open E, open G, uh, dad gad tuning and I'll use those tunings just to give you like a really magical sound and I find they sound great on any guitar you use. I haven't done dad gad on the eight string yet but I'm going to do something like a double dad gad or whatever uh, however it works out on an eight string and on the seven string because I think that would just be remarkable. Uh, so Drop tunings, yes, they'll get you heavier, but they will not replace a baritone guitar. And a baritone guitar will never quite have that same 
high-end mid aggression that the shorter scale guitars have so they are different animals and that's why you pick one over the other that said uh, i really love the seven string the eight string is a lot of fun but the seven string really really rocks for me um uh, if I, if I, out of all the phenomenal guitars in this room, if you've watched my, uh, guitar collection, uh, video, what are we doing for time here? Uh, oh yeah, okay, so I'll wrap this up really quick. Uh, but about all these guitars, if I had to only pick one to live with for the rest of my life, just for practicality and what I could do with it, it would probably be the seven string. I do have issues with the H string, which I'll make another video on that, just so you can, you know, between the seven string and the eight string, I think really, realistically, the furthest you can go for a guitar guitar is seven strings. Just, this is my playing experience, and I'll explain why I say that uh, in the next video. So anyway, yeah, drop tuning versus... Uh, baritone guitar if you want heavier go baritone because uh, again no matter how heavy you get in a drop tuning when you drop a baritone down to that drop tuning uh, you get even heavier you know you'll get even heavier every time so anyway there we go have yourselves a great day eh?